When you're in the website VexCode IQ, you can see all of the different block categories that you have over here to add different blocks to your program. What I have done already is I've add, added some devices over here. So I've added a distance sensor and I've added a motor group. You can add any type of device that you like by clicking here and selecting device and then choosing the port that you have that device plugged into on the brain of your robot. If you want to now use sensing, you can come over here to the sensing category and you can see there are many different options, brain sensing, motor sensing, or distance sensing. Now, what a lot of students do is they struggle because they try to add these blocks, but it doesn't click in. So you need to look for a block. If you are using a hexagonal sensing shape, hexagonal sensing block, you need to either look for an operator down here that it can click into, or you can look for controls that it would click into, like here, here, or here. For example, you can get your robot to wait until it senses an object, and when it does, you can get it to play a siren. So this would be a simple alarm that you could put in your bedroom. The problem with this is it would only make the siren once. So what you need to do is add to this program and see if you can get it to loop continuous, continuously or you can get your robot to do different things once it senses an object. Another option that we have, I'll just put this over here, another option that we have are the rounded blocks, the oval shaped blocks. And you can see that would not fit inside a wait until block. You can see here these are hexagon sections for the blocks to fit into. So if I wanted to be specific and say only at a specific distance, I would have to use an operator. I could say if the distance is less than 50 millimeters, then play a sound. And I would have to take out this block. And now I have it as a hexagon and I can drop that in. Again, this would only happen once. So if you wanted it to play a sound whenever something came within 50 millimeters of the robot, then you'd have to loop it forever. Now what this will do is this will play a sound whenever an object is within 50 millimeters of the distance sensor. And if the object moves outside of that 50 millimeter range, the siren will stop. And then if they walk back in, the siren will run again. So it is very much like an alarm or an alarm system that you might have in your house. You can play around and you can see there are lots of different ways that you can drop those ovals in. So you can drop the oval program into here. What this will do is this will tell us the distance that the distance sensor is sensing on the screen. There's lots of different options that you can have if you scan through all of these blocks. You can see where ovals can drop in, where you can change values. For example, you could change this to 100 millimeters if we put this one back. You have so many different possibilities. You can change it to 10 millimeters when things only get really close to it, and so on and so on. So you can look through the different blocks that you have and you can mix and match and play around until you find what you need for your robot to be successful.